officially part of Blink-182? Uh, I like to think so. Yeah? <laughs> yes, he is. Blink-182 is one of the most influential rock bands in the world. What's my age again? What's my age again? But when conflicting stories came out about whether former member Tom DeLonge quit the band, fans weren't sure what the future held. It's been a year and a half of speculation and what's it going to sound like and is this going to sound like Blink and what's Blink really about and, and I think this record really, really shows people that we are Blink-182. Do you guys feel like this is a rebirth of Blink-182 or is it more of a, an evolution? I feel like it's a fresh start. I feel like this album really takes us back to what Blink is all about. It's a rebirth in that it feels like old Blink but in a new presentation if that makes sense. The band's new single, Bored to Death, proves just that. From my point of view, it was sort of a response to Mark's call in the first verse of traversing a relationship and kind of navigating through uh, when things get real murky. You know, it's easier to say you're bored or to be angry than it is to be sad. Blink is gearing up for a new tour, and the band's seventh studio album, California, is out July 1st. I feel like it might, if you had to compare two of our albums, it's kind of like Enema, the state meets the untitled album. But it has a lot of the same tempos as, I guess, Dude Ranch does. There's a ballad, though, there right? There is, there is a ballad. It's called Home is Such a Lonely Place, which is one of my favorite lyrics on the record as well, but it just brings a very lonely feeling. What other lyrics can you tease? I want to see some naked dudes, that's why I built this pool. That's, that's, <laughs> by the way, that's the entire lyric for a whole song. It's a good reason to build a pool. I get choked up every time I think so. <laughs> I think Teenage Satellites has memorable lyrics. Yeah, it's a good, like, teen anthem, we're gonna go and break things yeah. song, yeah. 